the Jubilee in a way happened by accident and it was a ruse by some rather canny local councillors because they built the town hall and they wanted a statue for it and they wanted some some pictures for it <laughs> and they thought well why don't we flatter David Garrick who is this great Shakespearean who really cares about Shakespeare into taking an interest in little Stratford and perhaps donating some pictures and a, and a statue. Garrick was interested and he had an eye for publicity and I, I suppose he thought well if I'm going to do this I'm going to really make something of it and I think it just occurred to him to make this extraordinary bit of theatre in the town, you know, kind of street theatre, he sort of invents it. The Jubilee was a, a great extravaganza and it was pretty wild and unprecedented. Its centrepiece was Garrick's own Ode to Shakespeare, which he, he spoke in front of a, a, a statue and it was seen as a, just a transcendent success. There was a ball which was a bit wild too and it rained so they were kind of ankle the, the ladies in their fine dresses were kind of ankle deep in water by the Avon. Um, shouldn't laugh really um, and then there was to be a grand procession of characters through the streets of Stratford and there survived some drawings of this procession but it actually never happened they were drawings in anticipation of, 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 of the procession and that was thoroughly rained off there were fireworks so some of these elements have continued to um, you know, take their place in Shakespeare celebrations, including at the RSC. Um, there were great transparencies and people walked around Shakespeare's Stratford um, and there were songs at the birthplace and so on. So they, they made, made the town a stage, really, and tried to, well, very, you know, creatively and festively, they, they, they brought the place to life in, in the town. And I think that was a, an important precursor of the the establishment of the uh, Shakespeare Memorial Theatre and, and, and ultimately the, the, the Royal Shakespeare Company. A big octagonal pavilion was built on the banks of the Avon. Um, and again, it's a bit of a prophecy of the RSC. Garrick's also saying with the Jubilee, what if we lived as intensely and richly and hilariously and festively as people live in Shakespeare's plays? What if life was as good as Shakespeare's plays are? And that remains a really powerful and interesting challenge.